Do you know why the iguana didn't want to go to the party? Because he was a reptile. A reptile. Get it? He was afraid he might creep everyone out. Alright, alright I know that's a bit of a corny joke, but it's a fun way to introduce our cool friend the iguana. Iguanas are fascinating creatures, full of quirks and surprises. For instance, did you know that these scaly friends have a third eye? Yep, you heard that right. A third eye. But don't worry they're not secretly aliens, this third eye is used to detect changes in light. And here's another funny tidbit. Iguanas are known to be quite the daredevils. When they sense danger, do you know what they do? They don't fight, they don't hide, they simply take a leap of faith from the treetops and splash, they dive into the water below. Now that we've shared a laugh, why don't we dive into the world of iguanas? Picture this, a creature with a row of spines down its back, a dewlap under its chin, and a long tail. Yes, that's our friend the iguana. Iguanas are fascinating reptiles known for their distinctive appearance and let's not forget their uncanny resemblance to miniature dinosaurs. They belong to the family Iguanidae, and you might be surprised to learn that there are over 40 different species of iguanas. Yes, you heard it right, over 40. These creatures come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Some are green, some are blue, and others, well, they might just surprise you with their unique hues. Now let's talk about what makes an iguana, an iguana. They are easily recognized by their famous spiky backbone, the dewlap or the skin flap under their chin, which they use for communication and courtship, and their whip-like tail, which can be as long as their body. Now let's dive a little deeper into the types of iguanas. The two most common types are the green iguana and the lesser Antillean iguana. The green iguana is, you guessed it, green in color and can grow up to six feet long. They are usually found in Central and South America. The Lesser Antillean Iguana, on the other hand, is native to the Lesser Antilles in the Eastern Caribbean. They are a bit smaller than their green counterparts, but what they lack in size, they make up for in their striking color variations, ranging from green to a stunning blend of blue and gray. And we can't forget the Marine Iguana, the only seagoing iguana in the world, found exclusively in the Galapagos Islands. These unique iguanas have the ability to dive underwater for food and can hold their breath for up to half an hour. Intriguing, isn't it? How many types of iguanas did we just talk about? Believe it or not, iguanas have been around for millions of years. Let's take a walk down memory lane, shall we? Now imagine a world filled with dinosaurs. Among them were the ancestors of our modern-day iguanas. These early iguanas were smaller but just as determined to survive. As the eons rolled on, iguanas started to branch out, adapting to different environments and conditions. Some preferred the lush, tropical rainforests, while others found their home in harsh, arid deserts. Each environment posed unique challenges, and iguanas evolved to meet them head-on. They developed strong, muscular bodies to climb trees and rugged scales to protect themselves from predators. But that's not all. Over time, their diet also changed, shifting from carnivorous to herbivorous. This major dietary shift allowed them to thrive in various habitats around the world. So, our scaly friend here has quite a rich history, doesn't it? Ever wondered where these fascinating creatures live or what they munch on? Well, let's dive right into the world of iguanas and explore their habitats and diets. Iguanas are quite the adventurers and can be found in various parts of the world. The most common type, the green iguana, hails from the lush tropical rainforests of South and Central America. These iguanas love lounging in the canopy, soaking up the sun, and occasionally taking a plunge into a river for a quick swim. Then we have the marine iguanas, the only lizards that swim in the sea. Their home, the Galapagos Islands. These iguanas have a knack for diving deep into the ocean to feast on their favorite underwater algae. Talk about being unique, right? As for the desert iguana, they prefer the sandy dunes and scrublands of the southwestern United States and Mexico. They are true sun worshippers, basking in the scorching desert heat. Now let's talk about what these critters munch on. Iguanas are primarily herbivores, which means they love their greens. Green iguanas, for instance, dine on a smorgasbord of leaves, flowers, and fruit. They're particularly fond of wild plum and figs. Marine iguanas, on the other hand, have a salty palate. They dive deep into the ocean to chow down on algae and seaweed. This makes them the only seafaring lizards, a title they hold with pride. Desert iguanas, true to their name, are fans of the dry life. They feed on the leaves, buds, and fruits of desert plants, with a particular liking for the creosote bush. In a nutshell, these remarkable reptiles adapt perfectly to their habitats, whether it's a tropical rainforest, a salty sea, or a scorching desert. 
Their diets are tailored to the bounty their homes provide, showing us just how versatile and resilient they are. So, iguanas are quite the globe trotters and foodies, aren't they? From living a long life to laying eggs in the sand, iguanas indeed lead interesting lives. Now let's talk about how long these scaly friends stick around. Iguanas on average live to be about 15 to 20 years old in the wild. But with proper care and a whole lot of love, a pet iguana might reach the ripe old age of 25 or even 30 years. Now let's shift our attention to something quite unique about these creatures, their nesting habits. Every year, usually around the start of the warm season, female iguanas get busy digging burrows in the ground. These burrows become their nests, where they lay their eggs. It's a bit like their version of a cozy crib for the little ones on the way. The number of eggs varies, but it can be anywhere from 10 to 70 in a single nesting. That's a lot of baby iguanas. Once the eggs are laid, the mother iguana covers them up with sand and leaves them to incubate. And this is where it gets really incredible. These eggs don't need a mother's warm body to hatch, they just need the heat from the sun. So the mother iguana goes about her business, leaving her eggs in the warm sand. After about 10 to 15 weeks, the baby iguanas hatch and dig their way to the surface, ready to start their own adventures. The breeding patterns of iguanas are also quite interesting. They tend to breed once a year, usually during the dry season. Male iguanas attract females with head bobs and extension of their dewlap, which is the flap of skin under their neck. Once the female chooses her mate, the breeding process begins, leading to the next generation of these fascinating creatures. Who knew iguanas could be so complex and fascinating? Think you've become an iguana expert now? Let's put that to the test. Time to put on your thinking caps and get ready for some iguana trivia. Hold on to your seats because we're about to embark on a quick but exciting journey of knowledge. All right, here comes the first question. What do you think iguanas mainly eat? Is it A, insects, B, leaves and fruits, or C, cheeseburgers? If you answered B, leaves and fruits, then you've hit the nail on the head. Yes, most iguanas are herbivores, feasting on leaves, flowers, and fruits. As much as they might like the idea, cheeseburgers are not on their menu. Moving on to question number two. This one's about where these fascinating creatures live. Where would you commonly find iguanas? Is it A in the Arctic, B in deserts, or C in Central and South America? If you guessed C, Central and South America, then you're on a roll. Iguanas are indeed most commonly found in the rainforests of Central and South America, and not so much in the chilly Arctic or arid deserts. Now for the final question. Are you ready? How long do iguanas generally live? Is it A, 5 years, B, 10 years, or C, 20 years? If you selected C, 20 years, then give yourself a pat on the back. With proper care and in the right conditions, iguanas can indeed live up to 20 years or even longer. Well done, everyone. Whether you got all the answers right or learned something new today, you're all winners in our book. Remember, quizzes like this aren't just about getting the right answers. They're about learning, having fun, and most importantly, appreciating the amazing world of iguanas. And that's a wrap. Remember, every day is a good day to learn something new, especially about our scaly friends, the iguanas.